Okay, so this is the Illuminati thing that y'all call for moon phases. So this is our moon phase diagram that we're going to use in order to answer any moon phase questions, especially the ones that have to do with looking for the amount of time that has passed and predicting what phase. So the first thing we always start with is the sun. And I traditionally like to put my sun on the right side. The second thing we need is an earth. Okay. And so we need to remember that there are eight phases. So we're going to go ahead and draw our eight phases around. And I like to start with my four major phases and then fill in in between. Okay, so the first phase that I like to draw is my new moon. And my new moon is always going to be the moon that is closest to the sun. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that with new, and I'm going to shade it all the way in. Okay. The next phase I'm going to draw is my full moon, which I don't need to fill in. And I know it's just going to be opposite and furthest away from the sun. The next two are my two major phases, which are my two quarters. Now in order to do that, I need to remember that everything in space is going to go counterclockwise. So we're going to start with our new moon, and we're going to draw an arrow going counterclockwise. And then from full to new, I'm going to draw another arrow counterclockwise. Now when I'm going new to full, I am waxing. And when I'm going full to new, I'm waning. Now whenever I'm waxing, I need to, remember, need to remember that the lit up side is always going to be on the right side. Whenever I'm waning, I need to remember that the light is always going to be on the left side. Okay? So let me go ahead and draw my quarters. So since I'm, when I'm during my first quarter, I'm waxing, I'm going to shade in the left side so that my light is on the right. Down here is going to be my third quarter. And I'm going to shade in the right side because my light on this side, because I'm waning, is going to be on the left side. So now let's fill in the, our in-between, our transition phases. So the first one I'm going to do are my crescents. Now because my crescents don't have very much light, they're going to be nearest the new moon. Okay, they're less than half. So you need to think, because they're mostly dark, they're going to be nearest to the all-dark phase. So this one. I'm going to draw my light on the right for my waxing crescent. On this one, I'm going to draw my light on the left for my waning crescent. Okay. Next, I'm going to do my gibbouses. And I need to remember that my gibbouses are mostly bright, or they're more than halfway bright. So they're going to be closest to my, my all bright phase, or the full moon. I'm going to go ahead and shade these in. Okay. So, what I can see here is that when I'm waxing, all my lights are on the right. When I'm waning, all my lights are on the left. I can also remember that whatever's happening on the right side of the phase is going to continue happening. So here, my light's on the right, so it's going to continue to get bright. Down here, the dark side is on the right, and it's going to continue to get dark. It's just one way that you can look to see what the continuation of, uh, is going to happen. Now, as for time, the whole thing takes about one month. Or we can think of it as four weeks, however you would like to think of it. So I'm going to draw what I'll call the Illuminati thing, but I'm going to draw some lines to help me count the time in between. And each one of these lines is going to represent one week or seven days. Okay? Now, so that means I know that two weeks after the new moon, I'm going to have a full moon. One, two. Easy enough. Okay? Or three weeks after a third quarter, I'm going to have a full moon. One, two, three. That's how you use this. 
Now you can also apply the same concept to our transition spaces. So we can go ahead and put these in between. Okay, and they have the same idea. So I'm not gonna fill all those in, but from a waxing crescent, I know that in two weeks, it'll be a waning gibbous. And that's how we use this chart. And if it does happen to be that the sun is on this side, you can just take it and flip it around. Now, if it does happen that you have a question that has like maybe two and a half weeks or has kind of an in-between time, you also need to remember that in between each phase, it's about three and a half days. So if that does happen to you, it's like, okay, well, what's the moon phase going to be three days after a new moon? Well, you know that, well, it's not quite a week. It's about halfway through. So it's going to take me to my waxing crescent. So that's what you do if you do have one of those in-between questions. But that about covers everything that you should take notes on on moon phases. Um, this is what I want you to write whenever you get your test first thing or whenever you first see a moon phase question. It'll be up to you. But good luck.